Richard, can you tell me more about that Jewish kid teaching young kids to gamble? Well, first of all, I love Jewish people. I think they're the smartest people in the world, literally. They, you want medicine? Everybody's Jewish. Doctors are all Jewish. Researchers are all Jewish. Company that makes the devices is all Jewish. You want movies? All the companies that make all the movies are Jewish. All the people that write the scripts are Jewish. All the people that are acting them are Jewish. You want uh, comedy? Script writers, Jewish. The comedians themselves, Jewish. I mean, even Louis C.K., I believe, is actually of Jewish ancestry with his red hair. He's like Jewish Mexican ancestry, even Louis C.K. Or the C.K. is like Polish or Hungarian that then went to Mexico. And anyway, so my school that I went to, gifted kids school, everybody's Jewish. So I had to say, like I've been to a bunch of bar mitzvahs and whatnot. And so I basically went to elementary school that was all black, middle school that was all Jewish. It was hilarious. And the guy that invented the new math that was taught at my insanely smart middle school was named Bert Kaufman. Jewish dude. Best education I ever got in my entire life. My middle school was better than high school and college combined. We learned set theory and logic before math. We learned scheme programming, a dialect of Lisp, the most powerful programming language in the world. Like, insanity. I still remember modus, modus ponens, modus tollens, syllogistic inference from sixth grade. So I had a very strong, logical upbringing. So the reason that I mentioned the Jewish thing, um, even though I respect them as like the most, uh, the most productive people in the history of the world, they are usually like friendly. So when you see Eric Weinstein interacting with people uh, on live stream, unless it's with his brother, he kind of tends to supplicate and want to be friends. But then as with his brother, Brett, he kind of bosses him around a little, around a little bit. And so to have Sam Backman Freed, who sleeps on a beanbag and looks friendly, wears t-shirts, looks like a nice young kid, he's got curly hair and stuff, donates to charity, supports a democratic cause. That's nice. But that money that you're giving away comes on the ruined dreams of normal people who are destroyed and victimized by the most harmful thing anyone could possibly do for their finances, which is margin trading. And so you have an obligation, if you care about your fellow man, to see them not destroyed. And I don't know, other than hard drugs of something more destructive to a person than trading and gambling. Drugs, gambling, trading. 